sick, boy. The start of the adventure. Thing is pretty dang sick. Oh. Sorry, baby. Couldn't get out, too much traffic. So we're finally leaving Knoxville. We're gonna be heading back to Florida. But first, we've gotta go swing by Publix real quick and get some groceries for tonight's dinner. Good. Can we get the ice and water out or? All right, cool. How many water? Uh, just one. How many is in there? Oh, uh, 24, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You have a good one. Oh, thank you. You have a good day. You too. Gotta love Publix. All the workers are so nice. Didn't even have to take my cart back. But we got all our ingredients for dinner tonight. We'll see if it comes out good or not. It's gonna be a surprise. Stay tuned. All right, so we're starting to get into Gatlinburg a little bit now. This is the skyway or the parkway to Gatlinburg. You can see there's a really cool creek right next to us and then just beautiful freaking leaves. You guys know I'm a sucker for some nice looking leaves because we do not get this in Florida and we don't get creeks either. Like that is so sick. I don't even know how to really fish but I would like to fly fish some of that if you can fly fish that. I don't know. I don't know. And this whole road to Gatlinburg actually follows this creek too so you get like a freaking badass view the whole drive. Here, I went ahead and pulled over real quick so I could show you what this creek looks like. Thing is pretty dang sick. And this whole highway, I mean the whole highway to Gatlinburg is this creek right here. So it's a beautiful view. Now we shall climb back up. Oh. Sorry, baby. Couldn't get out. Too much traffic. We are now getting into the heart of Gatlinburg. This place, talk about some traffic, but some cool little spots coming through. Yeah, you can see they have tons of tourist attraction little shops here. And it's Halloween day. Everybody's dressed up. Made it to the Great Smoky Mountains, baby. Ooh, sick, boy. The start of the adventure. Like I said, we got a pretty sick camping spot here in the Smoky Mountains. So we'll keep working our way there. Just take a look at how good the beast looks, dude. She could use some bigger tires, but that is coming eventually. Bam. Ho. Hi, baby. Yeah, look at how freaking beautiful these leaves are. Look at this. Everything's orange and yellow and... Oh. Dude. We might be moving back to Tennessee. <laughs> I miss this. I feel like I'm in like a, a movie. Like this isn't real life. Nice cool air. It's like 62 degrees outside. So it's actually pretty warm for this time of the year in Tennessee. But these trees are beautiful. So this road we're on right here, this is gonna take us to the Dragon's Tail. It also runs all the way along the creek. But it is taking us forever to get down because it's your motor home. It's doing 20 miles an hour and the speed limit is 35. So I just found this cool little picnic area. I'm gonna go ahead and get Lola Pup out so she can go to the pee pee. Cause I know she's been sitting in the van for a little bit and she's ready to get out and stretch them legs. You gotta go potty. Here's your leash. One second, one second. Okay, come here. Come on, buddy. You happy to be out? Yeah. So that creek that we were running along on the road, it's actually right over here. Bam. So I'll go give y'all a quick view of it and let her get her legs stretched. You can see how happy she is. Yeah, here's that creek that we were running along on the highway. You can see the rapids start down there. The water is clear. 
so peaceful. This is freaking sick. See, in Florida, we don't get rapids like this. All the rivers are real deep. All the rivers are like 20, 30 feet deep, so you don't get the rocks protruding and creating little rapids and the nice sound. And the water's not clear like that. It's like a brown tea colored. So I just found a Sasquatch store. I don't know if they're open, but we're gonna go look. Negative Ghost Rider, they are not open. That sucks. But if you guys didn't know, I do have the official Bigfoot response vehicle plate. I was hoping to add to the collection a little bit, but I guess not today. Just keep working our way towards the dragon's tail, I guess. All right, I know I keep making pit stops on this journey to the dragon's tail, but I gotta show you something that looks pretty freaking sick. It might be kind of hard to see it through the trees, actually, now that I look at it. Look at all the houses right on the little river. They're hiding back there, but that's pretty freaking sick. I know it's hard to see those houses, but they are actually like built into a cliff. It's pretty freaking, freaking weird. But, all right, we'll keep rolling, guys. We made it to the Foothills Parkway. This is the highway that's gonna take us to US 129, which is the Dragon's Tail. So we made it, baby. We are out here. Now this road's very beautiful too. It's cool because it, it's real windy and it goes all throughout the mountains and stuff and it's not very busy. There's a ton of cool little pull-offs on this Foothills Parkway, like so. Where you've just got mountains for days baby and you can see all the colors changing out there keep on ripping keep on showing you some cool stuff because i think it's cool whether y'all do or not i don't really care <laughs> all right so there's a little lookout tower i guess that overlooks the mountain so me and little pup are gonna go check that out <laughs> Here's the Look Rock Tower Trail. How long is it? That's about a half mile. All right, let's go. Here you go, puppy. Here's that Lookout Tower. Almost looks like an old fire watch station. Actually, I don't know what that is. That almost looks like an old satellite building or something. I don't think it's a fire watch station. Tell you what, I wouldn't mind working there though, huh? Get to see these beautiful views every single day. Oh yeah, this is sick. There's a Foothills Parkway right there. So we're in the van for the final time, hopefully. Hopefully there's no more stops that I wanna check out, but I think our camping spot's only like five minutes away. So I'll go ahead and show that to y'all when we get there. We just made it to our camping spot. So we are at the start of the Dragon's Tail, which is right behind us. We are on the Tennessee side of the Dragon's Tail and it will end North Carolina. We are here on the chill Howie Lake with a pretty freaking sick camping spot. Now, I don't see any signs that say no camping, but it looks like there may have used to be one, <laughs> but somebody stole it because they probably wanted to camp here also without any consequences. So we're gonna give it a try. I have absolutely zero service out here, which sucks. So like I said, we have got mm, the sickest freaking view and all the beautiful mountains, the leaves are changing. Oh, I mean, come on. Even Lola Pop's ready to get out. So we've got a couple hours until daylight falls. We're actually gonna go drive up the dragon's tail and check it out. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the dragon's tail, it starts in Tennessee and ends right over the North Carolina border. I believe it's a little over 10 miles long and it's got almost 300 something curves within that 10 miles. So it's a big, big, like kind of biker area. A lot of bikers come up here. A lot of fast cars come up here. They like to zoom through. I'm not gonna be doing that in the van, but there are some pull offs. So if somebody does get on my butt, I can pull off, let them by, and then we can keep cruising. So we'll go check it out. All 
right here is where the tail of the dragon starts, guys. So typically on the dragon's tail, it's super slammed with people, but since it's kind of the off season a little bit, you know, it is the end of October, beginning of November. I don't think there's a lot of cars out here. So you can see some of the hairpin turns they've got going on right here. We are about to pass into North Carolina, guys. North Carolina part of the dragon's tail. Oh, baby. There we go, son. So we just made it to the end of the dragon's tail. We're at the Deals Gap. And this right here is the Tree of Shame. To give you a little backstory on the Tree of Shame. This is where you put all your broken motorcycle parts if you crash on the dragon's tail. You can see all sorts of momentums up there. Boots, helmets, tires. I don't know how they got stuff way up there. But it looks like they've got some pretty cool hotels here, but since they are out of season, I don't think you can actually rent them. Looks like they've got a little gas station slash general store too, but it is also not open. Watch out, pop, pop. Watch out. I'm guessing it's like I said, because it's out of season. We're here on Monday at 5 p.m. We were gonna go camp at that lake. I actually think I'm gonna find another camping spot on this side of the dragon's tail because it took me like 35 or 40 minutes to drive that. So I really don't wanna drive 35 or 45 minutes back and then another 35 or 40 minutes down when I'm going home tomorrow. So we're gonna find something on this side in North Carolina. We'll see what we can get into. All right, so change of plans. We're staying a little bit outside of the Dragon's Tail. We're at a rest stop that's probably about an hour outside of the Dragon's Tail. I gotta be home tomorrow by a certain time, so I figured I'd get a little bit more of the drive knocked out. I am also very tired, so we're just gonna go ahead and make a, a sandwich because I don't feel like pulling out any of the cooking utensils. And that is how you make the world's perfect sandwich. My first time having this sweet Hawaiian bread and it tastes identical to the sweet Hawaiian rolls. This bread is delicious. So this rest stop has a lot of no parking overnight signs, which doesn't really make sense. I've never been to a rest stop where you can't park overnight. Now there are a lot of semi trucks outside, who are here sleeping. So I'm sure I'm fine, I can get away with it. So we'll see, but I just got done eating. I think me and Lola Pup are gonna hit sheets. So good night y'all and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning guys. Six o'clock in the morning. We're gonna get rolling on the rest of this trip. I gotta get back to Jacksonville. I gotta work tonight. So we're gonna get moving after we brush our teeth, of course. All right, we're seven hours from home, so we're gonna get rolling. It's like 50 degrees outside, it's freezing. Fill up number two of the trip home.
Morning. Oh, no, it's all right. I'm having a good morning so far. So far. That's good. Hope you are. It's cold. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I know. I know what you guys are going to say. Taylor, your breakfast is not very healthy. But when you're on a time crunch to get back, it's a lot more convenient to just buy breakfast. Before we start breakfast, we need a sip of our nice eggs cold energy in a can to get us home, baby. Oh man. So on today's breakfast menu, as you guys saw, I've got me a honey bun and got a nanner. Check out the beautiful sunrise on this early Tuesday morning. Gotta love that orange. And we're driving east, so we literally get the perfect view of the sunrise. And we're in the mountains. Makes it way better. So we are four and a half hours away from getting home in Jacksonville Beach. And we've hit our first hiccup in the trip back. There's a car crash up front. Hopefully it gets clear quickly. It looks like we're moving still though. We're doing 25, but it does look like it's dead stop. We up there. I'll keep y'all updated. So we got lucky. My GPS was saying there's a car crash. There is no car crash anymore. I think it's already been cleared and we're already back moving. We're only stopped for about two minutes. So, andale, andale. Back home we go. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll zoom in. Those are massive tires in the back of that freaking semi, dude. Those things are huge. It must go on one of them freaking uh, dump trucks, like out in the mines. I mean, that thing is taller than a dang semi-trailer. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. All right, fuel stop. Number three. The third and final fuel stop of the trip. We're about two hours from home. So I'm gonna let Lola Pup get out. I feel bad. She really hates being in this van for this long at a time. Ooh, 64 bucks. Not bad. I'll take that any time of the day, son. Yeah, go pee pee. Come on. Come on, puppy. Good girl. Come in. Oh, come on, puppy. Good girl. So I feel bad. We've been driving this whole trip since like six o'clock in the morning. It's about noon right now, and Lola Pup hasn't had any water. So we're going to go ahead and Hang out here for a second while I make some lunch and she can drink some water. You want bees cheese? You want bees cheese? Here you go. And we've now got the perfect ham, cheese, and mayonnaise sandwich on some Hawaiian bread. Delish. Coming into Florida, son. Woo, we are finally back. Home stretch, baby. Yes, sir. We've got about 45 minutes left until we are home and we can unpack. Thank goodness. Home sweet home, baby. Thanks for tuning in on this episode. We will see y'all next time. Thanks. Bye.